Okay, so what's this all about? Well, on Windows, which most people use and which I'm used to, if you go to the window menu here, there's an option to open up your system console. That's just not an option when you're on a Mac. And I'm on a Mac when I'm portable. So I need to solve this. It's relatively straightforward to do so. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, what we need to do is first of all, open up Finder. Now, sometimes when you open up Finder, it doesn't open up a window. You can always go File, New Finder Window. And then we need to go down to Applications. I've assumed you've already got Blender installed and we've got Blender right here. We can double click it, it will launch, but it will not have the terminal. So we cannot debug any of our Python code or anything along those lines. So I'm gonna open up Terminal first. Now you can find Terminal down in Utilities, and then Terminal, double click on that and leave that window open for the time being. You can also open up Terminal by going Command and Space. This is my preferred way. As you can see here, start typing in Terminal press enter and you will get a terminal open. Now let's go back to our applications, scroll up, here we go Blender. Now we are going to drag and drop, not this icon, but something within it into our terminal in order to open up our console. So I'm gonna right click on it or secondary click, show package contents, go to contents, go to Mac OS, and this is what we need to drag in. Now it seems I've got a Blender alias there. We'll get back to that in a moment. I thought I had deleted that, but we hadn't. And here we go. We've got our Blender app, press enter, and it will launch Blender. But now what we can do is very quickly test that it is in fact working. I'm gonna to go to the scripting workspace, create a new script, and I'm just going to print out or what should we print out? Just hello world, why not? Let's be cliche. I've run that script and if we have a look at our terminal, we've got hello world appearing. And now if we close this down and terminate it, it will also kill the Blender instance. Now we can launch up terminal at any point. And if you don't use terminal for much else, you can just hit the up arrow on your keyboard, press enter, and it will launch Blender with the console. Now you might want something a little bit more permanent than that. And there was a bit of foreshadowing earlier. Whilst we're in the Blender package, what we can do is right click or secondary click on our Blender icon here. And what we need to do is create an alias. So make alias, we get this new icon. I'm gonna drag that to the desktop. I'm gonna delete the one in here. And now when we double click this, it will actually open up a console for us at the same time. So now once again, let's go and test this real quick and then we'll make it look pretty. Let's print. And once again, I'm just gonna go hello here. And here we go, we've got hello. This is the terminal window that opened up with our blender. Okay, let's get rid of that for the moment. Here we go, we've got everything down and look, you can start to see blender doing stuff, which is brilliant. Let's get rid of that, get rid of this, clear it up. So we've currently got this Blender on the desktop here. And I don't like the look of it. I don't want it to look like an empty file. I want it to look like the Blender icon. So I'm going to go up a couple of levels until we get back to our applications. I'm going to secondary click on the Blender icon, get info. That's just covered up the other icon that we need. Secondary click on this one, get info. And what we can do, this is really neat, we can click on the icon here and go Command and C to copy, click on the icon here, Command and V to paste, and look at that, our icon matches. How about that? And of course, what we can do now is at any point, double click on that icon that we've created, and here we go, Blender launches, and it's launched with that console that we can use for debugging or anything when it comes to our scripting. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.